Welcome back to my kitchen, boys and girls. Um, earlier today, we were exploring DNA based on our cheek cells with some salt water and some soapy water and a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And I hear it's even more impressive with strawberries. And when I looked into it, different types of fruit work really well too uh, because of the lipids that are inside them. So we've been talking about DNA and it's those little building blocks of things that you have inside your body. Living things have DNA. I have DNA, you have DNA, and our DNA is different. Dogs and cats have DNA and their DNA is different too. And believe it or not, raspberries, strawberries, and other fruits do too. So plop a couple of pieces of fruit into a baggie and mush it up for about a minute or so. I use the corner to get it really well mold. It takes about a minute and I give you a challenge to count up to 30. When you got them all nice and smooshed up, you're gonna add a little bit more of the activator solution like you did in the cheek cell earlier today. Now the activator, uh, solution that we had earlier was just soapy water and then we had that salty water. Well you mix the two together by using the soapy solution you had and if you need to make one from scratch it's one teaspoon soap and three teaspoons warm water and then you're going to add about a teaspoon of salt and mix them together. So I'm going to add that like so and I'm going to add about 10 milliliters or two teaspoons into my bag. I'd love for you to measure this before you do it, and I want you to mix it up for about another minute. Get it nice and juicy. Once you do that, you're going to pull in that strainer that you had. If you don't happen to have a strainer, you need a coffee filter with a rubber band to strain out the juice. So while I'm mixing, I'm going to pause this, and I'll come right back. So I'm back after mushing my salty and soapy solution. It's nice and dark red. I'm going to strain it because I don't want the pulp and I don't want the seeds, the mushy stuff. Now, if you have cheesecloth, that's great. If you have a coffee filter, you could use that too. I have a tea strainer that I put my loose tea in and I'm going to strain that through there because that's what I have at my house. So if you have like a very fine colander or strainer at your house, you're gonna capture that liquid you can do it in a glass. I'm using my two quart um, mixing container because I have a few of those. Not the one that had the soapy salty water, but a different one. I'm gonna shake it through and I'm gonna use my teaspoon to mush through so that I get as much juice as possible without getting any of that pulp. I can still see lots of liquid. I'm gonna press until most of it's through. It might take another minute. You can go to 30 again and take your time watch what's happening, what does this smell like, what do you notice? It's hard to see all these things on camera, like the smell of the raspberries and the suds from the soap. And I'm shaking it out. I'm gonna set it in my sink. So I have about this much solution after about just a couple berries. Probably the more berries the better if they're getting ready to go bad. It's a great time to experiment, but um, You always want to use things that are clean and as I'm looking around. I'm looking for my clean <gasps> Test tube so I have a sample earlier After we did the cheek and here's one to show you you're going to take your solution slide it down slowly add about 10 milliliters. I'd love for you to measure. Uh, 10 milliliters is about two teaspoons, but to get a better reaction, you might try four, depending on how many berries you have. All right, so use your dropper in a glass or have your big person pour for you directly. I love the measuring. Your rubbing alcohol needs to be from the fridge or the freezer really cold for at least, you know, 45 minutes or so. You see the reaction and the separation and the DNA. So I'm gonna use like a coffee stir. We have bamboo skewers. Can you see? It's really hard to see this liquid and it's really cool. DNA is hanging right out there and I get to pull it out and you can see it. Normally DNA has to be looked at under a microscope and if I had a wider container I could pull it out better but you'll see it hanging like a gel. That reaction is, your, is 
in this case, the raspberry DNA. Earlier, you saw just a very small strand of your DNA from your cheek. Quite a reaction. You can try it uh, with bananas. You can try this with strawberries. See how much you can pull out. It doesn't want to do the string for me like it could. You might be able to pull it out. But if you're careful, you'll have something that looks like that. Raspberry DNA. Enjoy. Stay well.